When you have like a, a day off like today and you're not skydiving, you might as well be in here. A day in the workshop is, uh, is not really work, is it? It's fun. We've started the manufacturing phase for the prototype and this is our box of goodies uh, that we've made so far. So these are the aerofoils that we've uh, 3D printed using ABS and these are going to be used for the final prototype. And then we just machined these shafts uh, in the workshop, uh, push fit and then secured them with a bolt at the end. So this is the pilot chute holder. Some of the parts we've brought in, such as the bearings, but the majority of the parts that we're using for the prototype will be manufactured uh, here in L2. This one's pretty cool. It's the closing pin that Dave's made. That keeps the parachute inside the parachute holder until the deployment's ready, and then that will release via a servo motor. So at the moment, I think we've done about, yeah, about a third of, third of the parts. There are 50 in total. Uh, and some of them are duplicated, so I think there's, what, 75 parts in total? So this is the L2 workshop where we're going to make all the parts of the robot. <laughs> Tom did the uh, drawing for this one, so I'm struggling to work out how everything lines up. Hopefully we should get a nice bent part. And there we go, in a matter of seconds. Yeah, as much as I want to look good for camera, I also want to get this right. <laughs> it's pretty close to 90 degrees, isn't it? All we need to do now is drill for five holes and we're done. Perfectionist? <laughs> Definitely. Certainly for this project, because everything has to be so accurate. Ah, sick. So this is That's gonna be the nice deployment one. servo. So obviously we don't want this to jam up. This is, in fact, yeah, it is it's, an <laughs> it's gonna be the, nice. one of the high torque servos on here. This, this deploys the parachute and saves the robot from a horrible <laughs> so we removed one of the ballast sheets and replacing it with just a spacer. It's a very simple part, but I'm making four out of the same chunk of material. This is a lathe. It chugs the workpiece, spins it very fast, and then you take a tool bit, which is made of tungsten carbide, so it's a very strong, very hard material, and it just cuts through the metal. Dead simple, two diameters and cut it to the right size. It's great to see you know, the size of everything, how it's all going to be put together. Very exciting. We just got some foam, band sawed out a general circular shape, and then once we had this tube, we stuck the back onto a lathe and then sanded it uh, down to size. 